This will be a fairly straightforward unboxing. This is the Kingston Data Traveler 101. It is rated for up to 10 megabytes per second read and 5 megabytes per second ride. Ride, right? So this is a value USB drive. It's going to be all about cost per gigabyte. They provide a convenient scissor line for how to open the packaging. But since I am rarely equipped with scissors or a knife, I'm going to go ahead and open it with my hands. It is compatible with Windows 7, Windows Vista, Windows XP, Windows 2000, Mac OS X, as well as Linux. And then here's what I can figure out. Look at this. Okay, they have a graph with Data Traveler as well as UR Drive. Do they mean your drive, like your current drive? I'm not quite sure what they mean. Hmm. Well, if you have some insight into what Kingston means on the back of their box by your drive, then uh, yeah, please do let me know. So let's have a look at the Data Traveler 101 itself. You can see it has an included cap. You can actually install a little uh, carrier string right there through the top. It's made out of metal, which appears to be pretty decent metal, so it's not going to just come right off like uh, one of the other drives that I had that had a metal clip on it. All right, you just flip it open like that, and then you are able to access the USB business end of the Data Traveler 101. So that was it. That's the whole thing. Let's do a quick, uh, let's do a quick uh, data write test just to find out exactly how well it performs, and then that will conclude our Data Traveler 101 coverage. So as soon as we plugged in the USB key, your drive revealed itself to be your USB world just the way you want it. Experience the fun of your drive anytime, anywhere. You can manage your files and folders, download and use fun apps subject to availability, store and play your favorite songs, explore your photos and explore your photos with friends and family. So we clicked the learn more link. It looks like we've got built-in secure internet browser with search by Yahoo, two gigs of online backup account. Okay, we have a RoboForm password manager as well as a your app zone to, uh, to get easy access to additional apps. So there's a bunch of instruction videos. There's an intro video, which is a cartoon. And it's conveniently captioned, so we can even watch it. I just finished another thrilling day of work carrying files around. Wow. Here, I think we got sound even. That's okay. Okay, so basically it's a software that uh, allows you to make better use of your drive overall with all of these uh, cool features. That's pretty neat. Searched online for Spanish. Let's zoom through my built-in internet browser. Huh, so I guess it's bootable even. Neat. This is getting kind of long. Okay, let's do our uh, let's do our speed test really quick here. So I'm going to take uh, Tech Tips video and I'm going to paste it. And we'll find out how long it takes. So this is a 100 megabyte file and it takes approximately that long, which is a lot faster than 5 megabytes per second, which is what the drive is rated for. So it looks like Kingston is underrating this drive. Thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the Kingston Data Traveler 101.